Okay. Um, hey guys, just shooting a little pool here today. And I was thinking of a lesson that I was going to share with you, and I got a couple balls here. Let me, let me grab these. And I don't know if any of you have ever played pool before, but typically you take the cue ball and you take the, you know, this, and you put the cue ball together, and you, or stripes or solids, and you knock the ball into the hole, whether you're solids or stripes. Now, at the end of the game, your outcome is to make sure you knock the eight ball in last. Now, I almost knocked it in the middle of the game, and I would have immediately lost the game right there. Now, a lot of times people say, you know, Mike, when it comes down to communicating with people, there, is there a way and a certain way to do things and a certain way to not do things? Well, just like pool, the idea is to get the eight ball in at the end of the game. Well, let me ask you a question right now, and a very simple question. If I said to you now that the dog chased Johnny. The dog chased Johnny, okay? Is that different than Johnny chased the dog? Or if I say to you chase the dog versus the dog chased you? It's the same exact words, but it's in a different order, which gets a different, different emotional response. Now, over the course of the last several you know, days and weeks, I've been sending you several videos and audios, the audio on because, the video on results, and several other videos sharing with you a little bit about emotional marketing, how it works, and how it impacts people. Now, I realize that words work fantastic, but when words are put in the right structural order, you can start getting more of the results that you're looking for in your business and your life now. So what I'd like to share with you today is a little bit about phrases. Now, all a phrase is is a group of words put together in a very specific order. For instance, the phrase, Johnny chased the dog, is different than the dog chased Johnny. I just shared that a couple seconds ago. Now, I'm going to share with you one phrase that works absolutely perfect when you're dealing with a sales situation, you're dealing with business, a relationship situation, anytime you're looking to get your point across. Now, when it comes to getting your point across, one of the biggest challenges people have is they attack people's beliefs, they attack their ideas, they go after the way that you know, they've been thinking so long, and they want to change somebody to get them to buy their product, buy their service, buy them, whatever it is. Now, just like you order these balls to make sure you get the right ball in at the right time, and if you're stripes, you want to make sure that you get the stripe ball in and not the, the solid ball. The key is, is to make sure that you understand what I'm about to share with you. The order of a sentence, the order of words is everything. So let me ask you, have you ever had a situation where you were talking with somebody and they told you, I don't have the money, I don't have the time, I don't have the resources, this isn't right for me, I don't know about that. I can't do it that day. Well, what do you say to that? Well, typically what most people do is they push the person. They get them in a pushing, like pushing match back and forth, like forcing something to go. And I, in a past video, I shared a little bit about the jujitsu approach to selling when you can you know, talk to somebody in a way that is more comfortable for them where you're, you're moving energy instead of actually you know, forcing something to move. Well, I'm going to share with you a very simple technique that just the sheer fact that Deborah and I were talking about this technique the other day, or actually talking about this, she actually used it on me and I didn't even realize it happened. Well, we were having a communication back and forth where we weren't agreeing on one thing. Have you ever had that before where, you know, two people that are, you know, strong-minded or you and a prospect are, you know, at heads with each other, you're, you're, like, you're like this, you know, two things are not, you know, no one's getting their point across. And out of nowhere, she said, you know, Mike, are we going to shoot that video? Um, make sure we shoot that video on, you know, maybe you're right. And my brain goes, well, she thinks I'm right. Okay, that, yeah, okay, th thanks, I'm glad you think I'm right. And she goes, right about what? I said, well, you just said I'm right. And she said, no, I didn't say that you're right. She said, when are we going to shoot the video on maybe you're right? And it got me to realize that that phrase, maybe you're right, takes the position of, you know, getting somebody to open a door again instead of having a door closed. Have you ever noticed that before? If you argue with someone and says, I don't have the money. What do you mean you don't have the money? I don't have the money. What do you mean you don't have the money? I don't have the money. What do you mean you don't have the money? I'm not interested. What do you mean you're not interested? Don't you know this about the company? Don't you know that about the company? Don't you know this, that, this, that? And you're fighting back and forth. But if you turn that around when someone says, I don't have the money, and you were to say, maybe you're right, You just agreed with them. They stopped fighting with you. Well, and then you said, well, you might be right, but would you like a way to find the money? Well, that would be cool. And you open up a window and you open up an opportunity. The key of using phrases and using the correct phrase at the right time, because if you just walk into a meeting and you said, maybe you're right, they're going to
they say, well, right about what? But at that time, when you just agree with them, when they don't expect you to agree with them, it absolutely breaks their pattern. Just like in pool, if you put the wrong ball in at the wrong time, it's never going to get you the result that you're truly looking for. But when it comes down to communicating with people, when it comes down to getting your point across in a very simple way, the key is, is to use the right phrase at the right time. Okay, so this Wednesday, May 13th, we're going to have a very, very special conference call. It's going to be sharing many of these you know, phrases that you can use for your business, your personal life, to affect people emotionally. And a bunch of words to go along with it. Stuff that I've never, ever revealed before that I'm going to share with you that after years of research that are just going to, it's going to be awesome. But you're probably wondering what this box is over to right over here, you know, my left, your right. Put your name and your email address in that box. It'll take you to a page and it'll reveal to you, you know, all the information for that call. So make sure to do that as soon as possible. And if you know anybody else that's looking to impact their life and their business, you can forward on that call to them. But I do want to tell you that we have a very limited amount of lines. So make sure to call in five minutes early. And if you're going to have someone else be on the call, either three-way the man or tell them to call in five minutes early to be on this call. So here's what I want to share with you again today. Just recap just for a second. Anytime you're in a situation with somebody who's just real strong in their point, there's nothing wrong with doing something they don't expect. Remember? Break their pattern. And it's very simple to do that. All you have to do is say one thing real simple. Simple phrase. Maybe you're right. And as soon as you say maybe you're right, the argument goes to, well, hey, maybe he does agree with me. And if you can do that, you can do some of the other stuff I'm going to share with you on Wednesday. Look out for another video I'm sending out tomorrow, some really, really cool stuff, and make sure to really study and notice the order of things, because the order of how things work in this world is going to get you the results you're truly looking for. Have an amazing day.